so we're currently contracting at 50%, which is 2 meters. If we take those two numbers and then divide by the radius of the bridge, as well as remember to add the circumference of Scooter Guy's hat because he's on top, and subtract the severity of concussion to Biker Chick on bottom, as well as multiply the whole thing by the weight of my depression, we should come to about... 39%, we'll say? Try something like that. 39%. Lock it in. I have complete and total faith in the fact that I remembered to carry the one, and this will surely work. Oh, that looks pretty good. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. This isn't a bridge. It's just the world's weakest motorcycle trebuchet. What's up guys, welcome back to Polybridge 2, that game where you fail over and over and over again to the point where you feel like you're trapped in an endless hellish existence, but today there is an end in sight. Over the course of this series, we've had three criteria for success. Complete the level, under budget, without any breaks. And so far, we've managed to do that in every single level in the game, except for two. If I can build these last two bridges and not have them fall apart, and not have them cost an arm and a leg, then I will finally become the Bridge Master. I don't actually know if that's a legitimate title or not, but... No, with enough triangles, you can make anything happen. What are the odds these are going to be the most difficult levels in the game? Like, I'm not going to think about it, because it's really hard to engineer a bridge with a raging anxiety boner. But I am seeing some complications here, okay? This would be a straightforward bridge. Like, we've got a bunch of vehicles, sure, that's a pain in the butt, but they all want to go straight across. Only problem is we've only got four pieces of road, which is just enough to do one or the other. We can either bridge the car or the bikes, but not both. So I'm guessing we're probably going to have to have a bridge in the middle for the car, which is then going to have to scissor into two bridges for the bikes, and then scissor back to get the car back across. Yeah, how that's gonna work, your guess is as good as mine. You guys are gonna have to bear with me here for a sec as I work this out because like, I have no idea what I'm doing. I've never built anything like this before. I, I just have like a rough plan, you know, an idea. I know that I like my bridges like I like my women. Scissoring. <laughs> or not in pieces at the bottom of a river, take your pick. Either way, this is the plan. We're gonna have two individual bridges make up one bridge. So this is gonna go up, this is gonna go down, and this can't actually be used as a pivot point. It's gonna support A, but they're gonna have to disconnect, and not like that. We're gonna keep this on one, that's gonna stay together, you'll be two, you'll be three. Yeah, okay, so now we have all of the individual pieces, we just need to get them to where they're going. Here we go. I think I might actually be onto something here. Like, we absolutely do have to pivot around that metal point in the middle. But we can't do it with the road, because otherwise we're just going to end up with a bridge that does this. We don't want it straight up and down. We want two individual bridges like this. So I've made this little contraption in the middle that should hopefully lift one half up and lower the other half, like two individual gondolas. And then it should act as a pillar between the two, supporting them from the metal, because we don't just want to move them there, we want to hold them there. <laughs> we just need to actually move them first, right, with, with the hydraulics. So if we did something like this... And then I'm going to have to connect you, but I can't connect you to any part of the road. So how about we do that? And really don't want you to disconnect. Good. <gasps> okay. I think that is pretty good. I'm now to the point where I can't see what's going to go wrong. I'm not going to say that nothing is going to go wrong. Clearly something is going to go wrong. <laughs> something always goes wrong. Oh, 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 yes. No, no. Oh, come on. Where was the connect? You, you drove right through it. Oh, come on. I was so close. I still ended up pulling a Zodiac with pieces in the river. I'm just going to throw it out there right now. That was the gold medal of first attempts. And I know, as an engineer, I probably shouldn't have first attempts, you know, especially when it comes at the cost of just a couple bikers' lives, but at the same time, that was really good. We might only need to have a couple of connection points, and then it might actually connect. 
don't, I don't really know if that's how this works. I can't believe there are things I don't understand about this game, and yet I am this close to beating it. It just goes to show that you gotta be lucky to be good. Come on, we, we can see them now. We actually have points to connect to. I didn't change the hydraulics, so they might just drive straight through them again. Okay, well, we want to tune down the hydraulic. Maybe give that girl a helmet because she keeps bashing her head off of the bridge before hitting the water. I'm not even giving them a fighting chance. So we're currently contracting at 50%, which is two meters. If we take those two numbers and then divide by the radius of the bridge, as well as remember to add the circumference of Scooter Guy's hat because he's on top, and subtract the severity of concussion to Biker Chick on bottom, as well as multiply the whole thing by the weight of my depression, we should come to about 39%, we'll say? Try something like that, 39%, lock it in. I have complete and total faith in the fact that I remembered to carry the one, and this will surely work. Oh, that looks pretty good. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. This isn't a bridge. It's just the world's weakest motorcycle trebuchet. It's reasons like these that people have trust issues with math. I refuse to believe that my calculations were wrong. I'm just missing a little bit of this bridge. I'm thinking we might need a structure that unfolds with the bridge to keep them on top of one another. Like if we do something like this, which looks like a mess, I know, but I, oh, which one is it? Uh. Two is fine, we want you connected at two, but we don't want you connected at one. We want you connected at three. And then for the same thing, so then this will be attached to this, and we want this attached to this. So we'll do that. You are going to be connected at three, and you are gonna be connected at two. Is that, there's so many numbers. I, I said that I wasn't gonna do math anymore. Okay, just run it. Just hope that everything is connected in the right way. This is either gonna unfold magically or tear itself apart. I will go with magically. Okay, that that might, ah, oh, crap. Why, why don't you connect? I, I just need them to connect, that's all. If they can connect to the thing, I'm fine. That, that worked exactly like I wanted it to. It just, it just didn't work. I'm gonna be a bit of a hypocrite and run that exact same math again, except for this time, the weight of my depression is rising. It's a bigger number, which means that we are actually gonna contract being a negative number less. Does that make sense? It doesn't need to make sense. Just be entertained by my stupidity, okay? Instead of 39%, we'll try 37%. Exact same thing as before. Everything else was perfect. I gotta say, this is one of the coolest bridges I've ever made. If it would just bridge, just be a bridge, just stop. Connect, please connect. Yes. Okay, I forgot to turn stress on. I have no idea how this is going. <laughs> Breaking apart isn't the problem. Oh my God. It's beautiful. It's flawless. It worked. Yes, <laughs> on to the final level. Okay. This is not nearly as intimidating as I would have expected for the final level of this game. I kind of figured we'd be doing your backflips, multiple loop-de-loops with like fire and dinosaurs. I don't really know what I was expecting, to be honest. We've got an 18-wheeler with a couple friends on the back. They're all going to travel across the bridge together until reaching a point where they're going to stop and then split up. The truck is going to keep going to the right, and then the other two are going to come back to the left and go to their own individual flags. So we're gonna have to build a bridge that can support three vehicles, separate them on different levels, yet pass in different directions. I don't know what the submarine is doing. I don't just mean like to screw up my plans. I mean like what are the Russians spying on in a river in the middle of a desert? I think staring at this grid for so long in blinding rage has made me a little cross-eyed because I could have swore this was crooked but it's straight across, which should make things even easier. Right? That's all we have to do for the tractor trailer is just keep that from falling apart. The other two, however, we're gonna have to do something a little weird. 
Especially because it can't be in the way, so it can't really be very high. Maybe we can do something like this? If we have two individual bridges, each of them controlled by a hydraulic, we could lower one down and then the other down. Because we should have multiple hydraulics, multiple phases, because we have a submarine coming. I'm picking up what you're putting down, Polybridge. There are definitely a lot of places where this can miserably fail. The biggest thing right now is making it so that we don't go incredibly over budget. Okay. Uh, we probably don't need all these supports, right? Uh, that's way too safe. I'd imagine something like that has to be good enough. <laughs> is that a mistake? Is only one way of finding out. We'll toss in a hydraulic here and a hydraulic here, and we're just barely under budget. Okay, I guess that's how it's gonna be. Uh, this is contracting, right? This is contracting. Oh, uh, we need to set orders, right? So first we're gonna have that one go, and then we're gonna have uh, that one go. I think this is worth a try. There's a good chance they're gonna go for a swim. Not sure we can get away with removing all that support for this flimsy little wooden bridge. <laughs> nope, shot up to 90 something percent. Don't screw with me, submarine. Okay, good. This is exactly what I wanted so far. Oh yeah. Look at that quick math, 50% right on the button. Now, really dudes, you, you couldn't just simmer down a little bit? How about this, C can we at least see this one go down? No? I think the sports car is stuck in a ditch. Fine. Trying to figure out how to work all three bridges at once is overcomplicating things, so I'm not even gonna build the top one. Okay, we're just gonna work on one bridge at a time. The bottom one is perfect, right? Truck bridge is great. Everything is moving across it fine. There's no braking. Bridge number two, which is the sports car bridge, still causing a bit of problems. We're just driving clean through it. I don't know how to make this guy slow down, so instead I've incorporated some slinkies, thinking that maybe he'll just Bounce off the entry? I'm not really sure, okay? I'm just spitballing here. It should lower the same as before. Actually, it's probably gonna lower a little bit too far. Yeah, that's the whole tension problem with the slinkies, but that works. Okay, so now we just need to get bridge number three. How fast are you gonna, oh boy, you're gonna cook it. That's good to know. We might be able to ramp you up. I do not like doing this. This is gonna be a complete mess. <laughs> like, overlapping bridges makes me anxious. Just because, like, they're touching one another. But only when I build them, not when they move. I think? Hopefully? <laughs> That's the plan, anyway. We're gonna have two individual bridges that aren't interlocking, I think. Like, technically this road is going behind, and then it's going over top, there's no depth perception. <laughs> but ideally, this will not break apart. I could probably use slinkies again, but I don't think I need to. If we just do something like that and lower it far enough, then this is gonna act as the on-ramp. This is gonna be all one giant bridge. I just need to make sure that this goes in correct tandem. So we want that one first, and then that one second. Good. I think that might be it. We're gonna run it. <laughs> Fingers crossed. We already know. Yes, we, al we already know. <laughs> I'm second guessing myself <laughs> that the sports car can make it. I was gonna say there might not be enough room there, but I forgot that the bridge is gonna come down and make a whole bunch of room. Again, what the hell is the submarine doing? <laughs> I haven't taken the chance to ask him because I've been ready to pull my friggin' hair out. Don't break it this time, good. Now, if this lowers down far enough, we should, oh, did I say far enough? That might be a little too far, oh, ho, ho, ho. yes! <laughs> yes! That actually worked! He pretty much drove straight up! I think that's it, I, I think I just 100% completed Polybridge too, holy crap! 
Look at all those check marks and all those dollar signs and all those triangles, but either way, 100% complete. For now. Oh, come on. Don't make any more of this, please. <laughs> two levels took me two hours. Oh, that's probably not good. I, I should probably point out that when I'm sitting normally, I can't see the corner of the screen that you guys can't see because I'm in the way for you and you are in the way for me. <laughs> Except if I move out of the way, for some reason the Illuminati have showed up. Have I been inducted as bridge master that would be pretty cool oh my god what is this where did all my dollar signs and check marks and arrows go oh they're challenges no what do you mean challenges I was this close. I, I, I was chest up out of the pits. I could feel fresh air for the first time in months. And then the devil grabbed me by the butt cheeks and hauled me back down. <laughs> There's an entire second half to this hell. Look, I, I could have swore we were done. So uh, apparently this is the exact same as the first level, like the very first level. Except for this time, I have to use springs instead of wood. And I have a limit to how much road I can use. Okay, I mean, it sounds easy enough, right? We've got five pieces of road. That looks like it would be more than enough, right? Five. Yeah. And then we just use slinkies instead of wood, which I've done plenty of times before. I'm not seeing the challenging part of challenge. Clearly missing something here, but I mean, I'm under budget. Yeah. Okay, maybe I've just evolved beyond Polybridge. You know, I I've transcended. This just isn't a challenge for me anymore. Run it. Okay. <sighs> just some minor technical difficulties. Not that big a deal. There will be no mental breakdowns here today. This is a time to celebrate. <laughs> I think all we really need to do is make it so that the springs are a little bit complete. Rest? Yeah, compressed, because then they'll expand and hold the bridge up. So we'll get two of those, copy and flip, and put you there, and connect these. Can't forget that, very important. We are not stupid. Uh, I think that should work. That, that will work. I have complete and total faith in the fact that this will work. I kind of wish someone would just rip me apart with slinkies and put my pieces at the bottom of a river. Nope, nope, nope. I am not going to let you get the best of me today, Polybridge 2 Illuminati, wherever you are. Because <laughs> I know what I'm doing wrong. By having the roads connected at the two ends, it's ripping itself apart at the two ends. It's not exactly rocket biology. <laughs> but if I instead connect it using a slinky... Uh... I'm going to assume that there is a slinky there and that it's so small that I can't see it. It should still do its job. It'll keep everything secure and it should just kind of spring up into place and stay there. That is the plan. That is exactly what's going to happen. Mark my words. Oh, okay. That's, that's pretty, that's pretty good. Could we maybe shift it into second gear? Oh my god! We're on the right path, okay? Is, is right church, wrong pew. You know, right plan, wrong execution. All we need to do is supercharge this, right? And then it should just kind of snap into place. Okay, that, that might be a little bit better if you could just get that wheel up. Yes! I, I made a bridge out of nothing but slickies and that was an achievement! <laughs> Novice engineer? No, no, it was supposed to be bridge master! <gasps> oh, you can suck my slinky triangle dick, Polybridge! Why am I doing these challenges? There's no way I'm gonna make another half a dozen videos on this. Am I? 
<laughs> Leave a like on the video if you want to see the madness continue. I'll just put it that way. I'm more than happy to return for challenges and suffer for views. <laughs> We're now on level two, where the challenge is a tanker truck instead of a van. I see. So this must have been a hippie van at one point, and now not so much. So, what do we want here? Is it just gonna be, hold on, we're, we're gonna use our tools. We've got many tools at our disposal. Do stuff like that. And then, triangles, do we, we, we probably want reinforced road. This is probably a, a good time for reinforced road, so we'll just switch that out. And then, yeah, wooden triangles, pray for success. I was really liking the way this was shaping up until it told me I was 13% over budget. How is that even possible? There's, there's just no way I can't remove enough wood to make this relevant. Like, I, I could go back to regular road because then it would cost half as much, but that seems like a mistake. Then I can bring a little bit of this back at least. I don't feel good about this bridge at all. I know the bottom is super crooked, but there's nothing I can do about that because we're on a ridiculous slant. I'm just gonna keep raising this until it tells me I can't raise it anymore and then we're gonna go. This is, this is really all I could do. Just keep your fingers crossed. Oh, yeah, get a couple of hundred bucks more. There we go, okay, and that's the budget. All right, well, here goes nothing. It is now twice as effective and Oh, significantly better. Oh, would you look at that? 97.9% .9 stress. You and me both, Bridge. I'm pretty sure I'm supposed to be feeling a sense of pride and accomplishment right now, but all I really feel is like a, a punching behind my eyes. Is, is that pride and accomplishment? We now have a level called Bridge of Steel, where I can use only road. Uh, what? Road only. Uh, am I missing something? I mean, I mean, I'm definitely missing something. <laughs> the materials necessary to build a bridge. There's no way that this would work. Have I been missing something this entire time? Could I just do something like that? Like, uh, again, with the whole depth perception thing, it's hard to tell what's gonna clip into what and whether or not this is actually structural, but there's a chance that if I keep it all on the bottom, then the top will be flat and he'll be able to drive across it. So we just need to kind of get uh, shored up over here, up against the side, get rid of this, and then copy, flip, and paste. That's a bridge. How does... That actually works! Oh! Doesn't work well. Who could have guessed that an entire asphalt bridge would just fall apart? There's no way I'm supposed to build this using regular road. Right? Like, reinforced road isn't even getting the job done. Why would I make it weaker? Like, uh, this is pretty good. I've still got a few thousand dollars left. So I could... Oh no, I can't bring that down. It's It's locked in there for whatever reason. Fine, you don't want to get moved, Bridge? Then you can go ahead and rip yourself apart. Or not? Okay, what do I know? Just listen to the bridge. But you know what, I think that's gonna be it for this episode of Poly Bridge 2, guys. I would keep going with the challenges, but I, I legitimately feel like I'm losing my voice. I get very animated when playing this game. For a bridge building simulator, it's surprising, but boy oh boy does it ever just get under your skin when you spend enough time failing over and over and over and over again. If you guys want to see me return, do some more challenges, you know, try to get a monster truck over a shockingly large boat, then be sure to leave a like in the video, let me know, and I'll return to do just that. But thanks so much for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.